What's up, everyone? Welcome back into the Sports Forum Radio Show here on 98.1 FM Mile High Sports. We are now joined by a very special guest, someone a little bit near and dear to my heart. My brother Tiger Tamburo is up in the building to talk some Formula One. For those not paying attention, Monaco Grand Prix is right around the corner. Mr. Tiger Tamburo, good to have you here today, brother. I want to ask you right out the gate, man. I know you are an F1 guy, hence the reason you're here right now. What do you think it is about F1 racing that really captures the audience? Well, you know, there's a few things that go into it. Um, one, mm-hmm. most people notice first off the speeds of the car. Um, the the top speed for the top cars, let's say for Red Bull, we're looking at around like 230 to 235, maybe up to mm-hmm. 240 miles an hour. Um, so people get the speeds a lot. An average car on an average weekend more goes around like 195 to 210 somewhere in that mm-hmm. range depends on the on the you know on the team on the car um other people find it very interesting that it's a it's more of like a weekend long event it's not mm-hmm. just like a football game where it's one one day one night it's it's three four days put in together with practicing and qualifying and sprint races and then the main event on Sundays is the the actual race. Mm-hmm. Um another thing that is that is really nice about it is there's races all over the world. There's a few mm-hmm. in the in the United States, there's a bunch in the European, there's Canadian, there's Mexican, there's it's it's all over the world. So it, it brings a lot of people together, uh, no matter where mm-hmm. you're from. Um and to top it off, it is the highest level of single seat, open wheel, open cockpit racing. So it's pretty, oh. it's, it's the NFL of every football league. It's, it's where every driver wants to be. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And the drivers that are doing a good job are making themselves a nice chunk of change. And speaking of chunks of change, man, Monaco known as, you know, the most infamous F1 race of them all. All the big money is going to be out there watching. All the big money is on the line. All these different companies, man, they're putting so much money into these cars, into these drivers. I can't even imagine what it costs just to get to Monaco, just to get your car there. I don't even want to know. So I do want to ask you, though, man, looking at a race that's this big, that attracts all the best of the best, you got teams like Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari, I mean, all these guys out there, and defending champion Max Verstappen is going to be out there as well, per usual, riding along with Red Bull and his teammate Sergio Perez, also a big name on the board. I want to ask you about Max Verstappen first, though. Your thoughts on this guy, is he primed right now? to go back here and repeat again here in 2024. Yes, Max, he's a three-time world champion right now. He's won mm-hmm. he got his first championship in 2021. He's mm-hmm. three P 2021, 22, 23. He's looking to do the fourth. Um as of right now, standing wise, he is in front. There's no doubt. This season he's sitting at 136 points. There's Mm -hmm. been six races as of right now. The only race that he didn't qualify in the top three is he had a trouble with the gearbox and he didn't finish the race. Other than that, he's usually pole position. He's first place. Last weekend in Miami, he fell second place to Lando Norris, who picked up his Mm -hmm. first Formula One win. So good for Norris on that one. But Verstappen's just on a different level right now. Back in 2023, last year, he won the Monaco Grand Prix, and I believe Mm -hmm. the person behind him was about 27 seconds away. (laughs) So it is ridiculous. He's he's more likely the favorite as if he finishes the race, he is going to finish in the top three, most likely Mm -hmm. number one. So yeah. So the thing about Max Verstappen, I want to ask you, you know, for those that are wondering like, oh, I don't know much about F1, but I sure know who Max Verstappen is because he's making the most money. He's winning the most races. What do you think it is about Verstappen? Is it him? Is it the car? How does one guy dominate so much in a sport that feels like there shouldn't be one guy that just wins everything? So it's it's a good mix. 
Verstappen, mm-hmm. very, very good driver. Not, mm-hmm. not going to take anything away from him. He is the best in the world right now, and he deserves it. Mm-hmm. At the same time, Red Bull, as the constructors, they're leaving, they're leading the constructors championship right now. They mm-hmm. have the best cars. They have, you know, they as a team, they're the best. Mm-hmm. Um, even their pit stops. They've had out yeah, of what's six, up with that? Out of the six races so far, they have had four of the fastest pit stops. Um mm. Usually they're double stacking. So it's one in out. The second one's right behind them. They're usually around two seconds a car. So it's. That's crazy to me. Yeah. So <laughs> their, team, their team overall is just on a different level right now. Yeah. Two seconds. How do you change four tires in two? Someone needs to start paying those boys some more money because it makes sense. And in a, obviously in racing, Every single millisecond, let alone full seconds, matters in these races. So, But like you're saying, the dude wins by 10, 15, 20 seconds. Obviously, his pit crew deserve a little bit of credit for that as well. But looking at this track, man, and this race in general, what do you think the tough parts are? What's the easy parts? Where do you think the good guys are going to thrive? And where are some of the guys that aren't as talented going to get exposed here? So with Monaco, it's it's a very difficult race. It is the Mm -hmm. shortest race, I believe, but it also has the most laps. It's the easiest part about it. Probably the pit lane. There's okay. There's nothing else to it. It's the easiest part pit lane, maybe sector one. Other than that, it is, it's a street race. It's very, Mm -hmm. very narrow streets, very tight corners. It's 78 laps. It's 19 turns. It's the race itself. It's it's a very unique race because it tests. It's the hardest race, in my opinion. It tests sure. the driver's skills more than the technology of the car. It mm. Back in, I want to say, 2018, Daniel Ricciardo was with, team, or with Red Bull. And this mm-hmm. was in Mercedes Prime. They win five, four or five world championships in a row with Lewis Hamilton. Mm-hmm. But Ricardo was able to take home Monaco Grand Prix. It's more this race in particular tests the driver's skills. Mm-hmm. The the very tight corners, one slip up, you're in a wall. It's a very, very difficult race, no matter mm-hmm. what part of it is. For Max Verstappen, right? So you just said it's more of a technical race. You have to be a good driver to win on this track here. I know Max Verstappen wins the most, and I know we just argued his crew is the best. Maybe you could argue that his car is the best. Do you think driver for driver, he is the most talented driver on the racetrack? He is up there. I'd say... Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd say Lewis Hamilton probably has more experience. Obviously, he has okay. more experience. He's been driving a whole lot longer than Max. Mm-hmm. Skill-wise, as of right now, I could say Max Verstappen is the best driver in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, experience-wise, probably not. Um, okay. Lewis Hamilton, let's just go to him real quick. He's... Mm-hmm. He's tied for the most world championships right now. Right now with Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton Mm -hmm. is more, you know, lower 10, top 10 of the pack. Okay. But overall, he has a lot of skill and talent and experience where Max, he can dominate as much as he wants, but with Monaco – Pole position is very, very key. Qualifying, Mm -hmm. getting to the top of the grid, very, very key. If Max, you know, doesn't have a good qualifying, and let's say he gets P5, Mm -hmm. I still believe he can make it up to first or second. It'll just be very, very, very difficult. Where if if he gets P1 pole position straight off the bat. (laughs) It's over. (laughs) <laughs> it's pretty much over. unless unless he has a problem with the car 
it's pretty yeah. much over. But, okay. But yeah. Do you think that Lewis Hamilton then is going to get his eighth one here at Monaco? Or if you do not, who do you have winning this race? Um, see, with with Lewis, it, he him and Mercedes have been struggling this year. Mm-hmm. Um, hasn't been the best, you know. With with the championships, it's based off the whole season. It's not just one race. Mm-hmm. Yes, winning the race, you get the most points. At the end of the season, whoever has the most points gets the world championship. But as far as as far as this race goes, I could see top three, in my opinion. Okay. Um, Max Verstappen, um, mm-hmm. Sergio Perez, Charles Leclerc. They are they're the okay. top three in the they're the top three in the league right now. They mm-hmm. have you know, they have the most points. But at the same time, someone like Lando Norris, who just won his first Grand Prix with with McLaren at floor in Miami, he could take it. Everybody thought Max mm-hmm. was going to win. I thought Max was going to win Florida without a doubt. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. Norris or yeah, Lando came in. He won. He he's doing very very well this year. At the same time, Carlos Sainz with Team Ferrari, he I feel like he's going to have a very good race. It's. Okay. He his contract with Ferrari ends at the end of the year. He is still looking for a team to sign. He has a lot of options, but he's still deciding. Um, okay. But so adding a big to one that, for him. Here. Yeah, big one for him. Adding okay. to that, um, Charles Leclerc with Fer- Ferrari. This is his home gr- his home race. He's from Monaco. He's born and raised there. Must be tough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to have a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, true. But but with Monaco, Ferrari, they I believe they have the most fans in Monaco. Other than mm-hmm. their home race, everybody loves Ferrari. Okay. <laughs> they have, they um, Yeah, historically, they are the best team. They have the most world championships, the most race wins. They mm-hmm. So for him... I I would like to see what Charles can do in his home race. Okay. Norris, I believe he's going to have a strong race. Um, but Charles, I believe, will finish in the top three. I could oh. be wrong, but I I have a feeling that he's going to score big points this in Monaco. I like your order there. I, I like the first stop and thing for sure. I mean, how do you fade Max for stopping at this point? Sergio, hey. That he's my he's my watch out. I think he could win this entire thing. Definitely like Sergio there. And like you said, Leclerc, man, you can't write this guy off right now. He looks so good. I'm probably gonna fade Lando Norris, but like you're pointing out, why fade a guy when he's hot? The confidence is there. He's probably feeling good. So, my man, anything else from you on this race? Anything people should look for? Maybe if they're betting, if they're just watching, anything you want to leave the people with? Um. If if you're betting, most likely Max Verstappen. The only way I see him losing this race is if he has a very poor qualifying, which I don't see happening, mm-hmm. or if his car messes up. Like he True. he's he's won every race besides Miami mm-hmm. that he's finished. If he finishes the race, he's finishing in the top two. Like that's that's what it is. Okay. Um, for for the rest of the podium, I have Max on top, most likely Sergio in second. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see that going between either the Ferrari drivers um, for second or third. Norris could you know show up again this weekend, claim another podium. But if I was going to bet, I'd do Max, Sergio, and one of the Ferraris. There you go, guys. The Monaco Grand Prix, May 26th, Sunday. Best of luck to everybody in that one. Give our man Tiger Tamburo a follow on Instagram at 
T swag underscore underscore double zero. My brother, thanks for tuning in, man. Appreciate the info, folks. Keep an eye out on sportsforumdenver.com. We're going to have an article up for Formula One Grand Prix Monaco coming up here next week as well. So keep an eye out for that tag. Thanks for your time, brother, folks. We're going to be right back. We got Anthony Hirsch joining the show. We'll see you in a few.